Italians have made Montreal a better place. So in honor of Italian Week, we decided to explore the treasures of Montreal's Little Italy. Our first stop, Cafe Italia. This is one of the first Italian cafes to open in Montreal. It was started by Luciana Seri's parents in 1956. The place still makes coffee the same way it did more than half a century ago. And Seri still works a regular shift, serving the first coffees of the day at 6 a.m. Its loyal clientele is a mix of Italian-speaking senior citizens, soccer enthusiasts, and lovers of authentic Italian coffee. Next door, Milano Supermarket brings the best products from Italy. It's got a wall full of olive oil, another just for canned tomatoes, and an extensive selection of olives and meats. It was opened by Vincenzo Zorini in 1954, and his family still runs the store today. Down on Dante Street, Cancherie Dante is not your typical hardware store. It started as a place to get hammers, nails, and saws back in 1956, when many Montreal Italians were working as carpenters and builders. But as the community changed, so did Dante's hardware store. It's now a provider of high-end kitchenware and guns. Dante started selling guns because many Montreal Italians were hunters. It's now one of the city's largest gun retailers. But no visit to Little Italy would be complete without seeing Madonna della Difensa, the famed church on Dante Street that's a gathering point for Montreal's Italian community. Go in and look up at the immense fresco. You'll see something surprising. Yes, that's Benito Mussolini, on a horse, next to angels, the Virgin Mary, and Pope Pius VI. Famed painter Guido Nincheri, a Montrealer, painted Il Duce there at the request of the Italian community in the late 1920s. Legend has it that Montreal's Italian community was thankful to Mussolini for helping fund the Casa Italia Community Center.